Are you struggling to put games on your new RK2020 device? Well, look no further. You're about to find out how to do that right now. I just want to show you currently what emulators are running on the device as it stands now. So we've got Capcom, favorites, that's nothing. Right, Wonder Swan, Snes, Scum, this thing here, PlayStation, PSP, PC Engine, the NES, N64, Mega Drive, Master System, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, Game Gear, Final Burn, Dreamcast, and then we're back at Capcom again. Okay, let's move on. So, here's what you're gonna need. A Windows 10 PC, because that's what I'm using. Your RK2020. The micro SD that came with it. And a micro SD adapter that also was supplied with the device. Let's move on. First off, you're gonna need to download this third party program right here. I'll leave the link below in the description box. It's called Linux File Systems for Windows by Paragon Software. So that's the first piece you're gonna to need to download. Next you're gonna need is your games. Look, I can't tell you where you get those games from. I don't know, I, I can't help you with that. You're just gonna to have to Google it and find out for yourselves. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help you in it. What I can say is that the RK2020 comes with you know, games already built into it. All right, so moving along. Once you have downloaded your software, you install it and then you boot it up. Just okay that. And this is gonna be the layout. This is what it's gonna look like right here. Um, there's various options in here, but everything is already set up from when, you from when you download it. So you don't have to worry about anything. Next, what you need to do is put your micro SD card inside of the adapter that was provided to you. And then that goes into the PC. If you do not have this software, if you do not download it, you will not be able to see what's on the memory card. So it's gonna look like this. And when you click in there, that's it. That's all you'll see. Hence why you need to have this software. Once you put your memory card in, this is what you're gonna see. On my computer, it just says storage F. I don't know what yours is gonna say. Now you can just go straight into your file manager, look for said drive, and open it up and this is what you're gonna see. Whole load of files there. The only one that's relevant to you is the one that says ROMs, pop it open. You have all of the emulators that are on there provided. They're all on there. All you need to do now is add those games into it and I'm going to show you how to do that now just open up this next window here minimize that a little bit okay let's take some 32x games in there so I'm going to grab that you see me I'm not a drag and drop guy man too many things get spoiled and ruined and corrupt in it so I don't do that I'll just give it that right click, copy, find the emulator that I'm looking for, which is 32x. Where is it? Oh, my 3DO. There you go. There you go. Sega 32x. Drop it in. Paste. Okay. Do not just drag out. <laughs> the memory stick do not drag out the um, SD card do not just drag it out make sure you unmount that bad boy otherwise <laughs> everything is compromised in it files all corrupt software don't work everything's jacked up in it so make sure you unmount this yeah and now I say for you to remove the SD card so let's see what happens next okay let's look at the fruits of this labor taking the micro SD card Pop it into the device, sorry for the reflections here. Turn it on, boot this bad boy up and let's see what's popping. So it takes a little while to boot up first. So yeah, there was a reason why at the beginning of the video I was going through the emulators that are currently on the device and I'll show you in a second. 
in a few seconds. All right, Capcom, Dreamcast. Let's see? 32x when I was going through it before you never saw that was there so what that means is any new games that you put on to a specific emulator will automatically be updated on this device in it if it wasn't previously there now let's test it out NBA spider-man There you go, boom. Game's running, it works. Done dusted. Okay, well, that's how you add games to your RK2020. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.